Hello lovelies! With all of that glorious summer sunshine beckoning, I'll admit that sometimes I find it hard to get inspired to cook, which is why today I thought it would be a good idea to share this amazing, quick, easy, and colorful summer-inspired dinner idea that comes together in a flash, but I think your whole family will love. It's this amazing barbecue lime chicken served with coconut rice and topped with a really simple but super flavorful mango salsa. Now there is just so much to love about this recipe, but I have to say my favorite part about it is all of the amazing color, which starts with some gorgeous mango. So I've got some mango nice and finely diced in my bowl. I have to be honest with you guys, the reason I'm making this recipe for you today is actually because I had a couple of mangoes that were about to go bad, and I really wanted to make sure I used them before they did. So this is a great recipe to do that. To my mango, I am going to be adding some chopped red pepper. I love the red bell pepper because it adds a ton of gorgeous crunch and great color. Next, I'm going to be adding some finely diced red onion, some chopped cilantro, and a little bit of minced jalapeno. The jalapeno in this recipe is definitely optional, but if you like your food with a little bit of a kick, which of course I always do, I highly recommend you add it. Once all of that yumminess is in my bowl, I'm going to go ahead and add the juice of one lime here, as well as about a teaspoon or so of honey. I just wanna add a touch of sweetness to this salsa to make it really wonderful. At this point, we're ready to give this a nice toss. And you'll see instantly why I love this salsa so much. The color is unbelievable. At this point, we are ready to just set our salsa aside and we can get to work on making our coconut rice. Coconut rice, guys, really couldn't be simpler. I am starting here with some jasmine rice, but you could just as easily use some traditional white or brown rice in this recipe if you wanted to. To my rice, I am going to be adding some coconut milk. I'm using full fat coconut milk. You could swap in some light coconut milk here if you want to, definitely up to you. And then I'm also going to add some water to this. Finally, just a good sprinkle of salt. You really wanna make sure that your rice is nicely seasoned. I'm just gonna give this a quick mix up and then we are going to let our rice come to a boil. As soon as it's reached a boil, I am going to reduce my heat to low, pop a lid on my pot, and let it cook away for between 15 and 20 minutes or until all of that liquid has been absorbed. In the meantime, I am going to get to work on cooking up my amazing barbecue lime chicken. Now, traditionally, I would do this on my barbecue outdoors, but since we are in the kitchen today, I'm going to be doing this on a grill pan on the stove. Now, for this recipe, I am using some boneless, skinless chicken thighs. You could definitely use chicken breast here. That would work just as well. Now, I have my chicken laid out on a plate, and I'm just gonna season it up with some salt and some pepper. We're keeping our seasoning really, really simple because we're going to be saucing this with some barbecue sauce once it's cooked through. As soon as our grill pan is nice and hot, we can go ahead and get our chicken thighs into the pan. I'm going to be doing these four at a time. If you need to go ahead and cook your chicken in batches, that is totally fine. Once our chicken is in the pan, we can season up the other side liberally with more salt and more pepper. And then we're just gonna let these cook away for say four to five minutes. We wanna make sure they get some nice grill marks happening and they start to really cook through on the first side. Then we'll flip them and cook them on the second side. Now it's time to flip our chicken. You can see it's getting nice and brown. It's releasing easily from the grill, which is always a good sign. And that means it is time to let this cook on the underside for another, say, three to four minutes. And while that's happening, we are going to mix up a really simple barbecue lime sauce for this. So I'm starting with just some classic store-bought barbecue sauce. You can use really any kind of barbecue sauce you want in this recipe. And I'm just going to add another dimension of flavor to it by adding a nice big squeeze of lime juice. So what I love about barbecue sauce is that it's sweet and tangy, sometimes it's a little bit smoky, and by adding just that little bit of lime juice, you sort of brighten it up a little bit, added a little bit of citrusy flavor to it and make it just a little more tart. At this point, our chicken is just about done cooking, which means it is time to get our sauce on it. Now, I always recommend if you were using barbecue sauce on a grill to use it at the very end of cooking. Unfortunately, because of the high sugar content in barbecue sauce, it tends to burn if you leave it on the grill for too long. 
At this point, we wanna flip our chicken thighs over and let them continue cooking until they reach a safe internal temperature of 165 degrees Fahrenheit on a meat thermometer. A meat thermometer really is the only surefire way to know if your chicken is done completely, so I highly recommend investing in one if you haven't already. At this point, guys, we have reached the promised land. Our amazing coconut rice is ready. We're going to load on our delicious barbecue lime chicken, and of course, top it all with that sweet and crunchy mango salsa. I have to say, guys, this dish is best enjoyed outside, so if you've got a backyard, a patio, a balcony, any sort of outdoor space, this is definitely a great way to enjoy some outdoor dining. I hope you will give this yummy recipe a try, and if you do, be sure to tweet me, Instagram me, or Facebook me a photo, because you know how much I love seeing your kitchen creations. Remember, the full recipes are linked in the description box below. You can find them there. And finally, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe, because there is lots more deliciousness where this came from.